guys, it's Steph, and I've been thinking about doing this video for a bit now. Uh, it concerns mental health in the holidays and what you should keep in mind. Uh, and then yesterday I log on and lo and behold, uh, Ingrid Nielsen and Katie Morton did a collab where they covered a lot of the basics of mental health and stress and seasonal affective disorder and really good tips and tricks to keep those things away and have a little control in your life. Uh, I will link those videos down below because I really do find them important. So, but to like add to what they have said, uh, from a person who has a mental illness and does go through the seasons, I've said this in my last mental health video, that you really have to keep an open mind. If someone, you know, has mental illness and it's the holidays, keep an extra eye on them. Like, it doesn't hurt to pick up the phone and call someone. Not text, not Facebook. Actually call someone. What a concept. I just, oh, it, it, it nerves me about how technology could keep us apart from reality. And that's what people with mental illness need is reality. Because sometimes you can't tell fantasy from reality if you have a mental illness. It's shocking, yeah. It's really hard sometimes. And I've been through that. Um, another good thing is do something that makes you feel good about yourself. Not anyone else. Do something for you. And whether that's buying the nail polish you want at the drugstore or a piece of candy or uh, even, this is going to sound so cliche, but volunteering is one of the most life-changing things that could happen to a person. It changes your life and it changes theirs. And there's so many different charities you can get involved in, especially with the internet these days. Like you could find a GoFundMe, you can find Benevolent, uh, you can get a gift card for maybe the family down the street, you know, is not doing too well and get them a gift card for the grocery store or uh, even ask around town, like, do you know anybody who could use such and such a thing? Uh, you can go to your local news website. They always have charities going up there. And uh, a lot of times food is needed this time of year. So you could do with that. And um, monetary donations are always a good thing, but not everyone has it. It's the holidays. Everyone's pinching their pennies. So your time is more than anything that matters, you know? I hope it all makes sense. <laughs> but just try to keep yourself motivated if you don't, that's where it falls apart. And you always have to remember who's best for you and who to surround yourself with too. Because who you surround yourself with is a big part of how you feel up here. If you surround yourself with hateful people who say horrible things, you're just going to feel down. And if you surround yourself with positivity you will feel so much better. Like, don't get involved in drama if you see it happening. Be Switzerland. <laughs> Just be yourself. Be who you are, despite your mental illness. And each year, try to make every holiday better. And yeah, this is more of a rambly self, a stream of consciousness. Maybe, I don't know, but I hope someone could find in this rambling 
something helpful. Like, I just want to help people, and I hope I did.